Sock it to me, Interblops. Welcome, friends, to a second iteration of I Blind Play the Genesis Platformer. Yes, while my next big game is locked in via patron poll, I thought I'd break things up a bit with an amusing trifle, or what I hope is an amusing trifle. A while back, you may recall my spirit being nearly broken by High Seas Havoc, a game I never got around to during the mascot platformer glut of the mid-90s. Here, we have a similar case, One Socket, developed and published by Victor Kai and released in 1993, the very same year as Havoc. I really don't know a lot about Socket. You're some kind of electric duck, it's been unfavorably compared to Sonic, and the Japanese title is Time Dominator First. In my humble opinion, this is one of the worst cases of a more boring Western title since we got Rocky Rodent instead of Nitropunk's Mightheads. Anyway, that's about where my knowledge of this game begins and ends. So then, let us see what Socket has to offer, and pray that it is not another nightmare on the level of High Seas Havoc. Ah, wavy warping background. That's how you know it's a Genesis game. I swear during the 16-bit generation, like half the developers had a hard-on for this effect. Start options and time trial. That's interesting that a game this old should have concessions to speedrunning. But let's see what our options are. Oh god, kick. I'm already getting High Seas Havoc flashbacks. But it appears that our options are very limited. Yeah, all we can really do is reverse the controls there, and there's no difficulty adjustment, which could also be a bad sign. But fortunately, I actually have save and load state mapped to controller buttons this time, so I can do that rather more easily. Hopefully I won't need it, but I am prepared. Alright, give me a second to sync here. Alrighty then. Suck it, do your worst. I really shouldn't have said that. High Speed Area 1, huh? As I mentioned, this game has drawn some unfavorable comparisons with Sonic, and given that we're already in a speed-themed area right from the start, I can kind of see where that might be coming from. Oh wow, Suck It's got a lot of momentum. If I just tap the controls... Yeah, he stops pretty quick, but if I build up any speed whatsoever. It takes quite a while to skid to a stop. Oh, is my energy going down? Yeah, it is. Holy shit, this is just straight up Sonic. It has no shame whatsoever about being uh, a knockoff of a certain hedgehog. And I see it also has the problem of... Uh, Wanting you to go fast and uh, enjoy the sense of speed. That appears to be some sort of power-up, I don't know what it does. Shield, maybe? Anyway, as I was saying, it intends for you to go through the levels quickly and enjoy the sense of speed, but every now and then you kinda have to know where an enemy is going to be so you can stop in time, or else you're just going to get hit. I also see that the energy serves as both our timer and our health. I can only think it a good thing that we actually have health in this game. That it's not one and done. Alright, that took a little work. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and save. Socket, I don't know what peace sign does. Okay, that was fairly straightforward. And do I mean to interpret from that that we start with no continues and have to earn them? Concerning. Emerald Forest Athletic Area. So it looks like we might not have 1-1, 1-2, etc. That the theme and overall level arrangement just changes for every stage. I suppose that's sort of nice. Keeps things interesting. I saw some electricity over here. Let me go ahead and pick that up.
There's that possible shield again. You know, it probably wouldn't have hurt me. I need to check out the manual before this game. But, uh, we want that completely blind train wreck quality, don't we? I don't know, I do. Actually, let me check a few things. Does not appear to be a double jump. I can kick up. Can I kick down? I cannot. Hey, extra life. I'll take that. Energy seems to drop fairly quick in this, and you don't get a lot of them from the lightning bolt. Ah, let's just go over this way. And when you're not going full tilt and running into uh, constant out-of-control sections, you don't have to be too responsive to keep from running into enemies. You can be going at a fairly decent clip, and uh, as long as you're not flat out, you do have a moment to react. Backgrounds are nice and colorful, but a little bit busy. Don't know about you, but sometimes it's a little tricksy for me to determine what is background and what is foreground that we can actually interact with. Oh, we're still in Emerald Forest, but it's Labyrinth area. So I assume that first stage was more of a tutorial kind of deal. We do have multiple stages per area. Safe state again, just to be on the safe side. Well, shit. Didn't realize those were going to be fire-breathing dogs. Made me think a little bit of uh, Mega Man 2, although I'm sure that's a much better game than this one. That said, I do find Socket to be competent thus far. If, again, really shameless about uh, deriving most everything about it from Sonic. Balloons are poppable, that stands to reason. Is there a secret over here? Yes, there is. Okay, there is also a ceiling there. Have a care, Ron. You don't need to... Experiment with things that are pretty much certain to kill you. What have we got here? I had to go through secrets. Oh, hello. Seems to have been a boss shortcut of some sort. Unless this is a minigame kind of thing. No, it does seem like a boss fight. Certainly a little more durable than your typical Sonic boss. But only so far. Bugger off. Uh... Is this for me? It sure is. Is it going to go? Yes, it's going to go. Okay, not only do I not know what most of the power-ups do in this game, I have no idea how the level structure even works. Oh, speed highway again. Yeah, it really looked there like, uh... Like I was going to some kind of secret when I walked through all those walls, but then there was a boss fight, whereas I was expecting some kind of bonus, or at least some lightning bolts from it. So maybe that was just a shortcut to the boss? I don't know. I am an innocent babe when it comes to the workings of Socket. I almost hit Sonic there. Hmm. 
Whee! You know, even though it tends to cause a lot of running into things, the uh, speed in this, again, much like Sonic, is pretty enjoyable. When you come off those launchers, you really pick up a good head of it. Oh, Socket, you think you're so cool doing your uh, Bart Simpson pose there, and hey, I gotta continue. Pity I have no idea how. Treasure Castle Athletic Area. So are stage types high speed, athletic area, and something else? Socket, your ways are yet mysterious to me, but I'm going to save state. I actually really like the background here, it's quite pretty. Although these potion-looking things, or possibly bag-looking things on the block here, with their spacey eyes and shit-eating grins, unnerve me slightly. I probably should have tried to use that booster there. But then I fell. And the opportunity had... Oh! We can get crushed. Fortunately, that does not appear to be instant death. Hopefully these presses are also not instant death. Okay, I just had the idea there that maybe we could move the camera by ducking or pressing up. But Socket has no such mechanic. Oop. Yeah, while extremely derivative, this game does seem pretty conf uh, competent thus far. I don't hate it. It's nothing brilliant, but I don't hate it. Then again, that was more or less how I felt about High Seas Havoc in the beginning, too, so... Nope, can't break cannons. I'm actually kind of digging the music for this stage, too. Oh, damn it. This is the first level in which I particularly noticed the music, so... I'm guessing this is, in fact, one of the better tracks. Alright, getting Socket up a hill from a stop. There have been easier things in the world. There we go. Nevertheless, what I wouldn't give for a spin dash. Is this a checkpoint? I assume so. Never noticed one before, though. So that would be invincibility. If I can just cruise right on through enemies, and I don't get hurt, they do. Yet again, an element uh, derivative of Sonic. After images to indicate you're invincible. Can I get up a good enough head of steam to get up there? That's a negative. So we will try and go the other way. There is a little bit of branching throughout the levels I see. That's also no bad thing. I still have no idea how I got to continue earlier. But with the power of save states, I can be fairly stable about that. What did that blimp say? Oh, Dominator. Once again, this game's name in Japan was Time Dominator First. Whether that refers to our character or not, I could not tell you. I assumed he was Socket, but maybe he's not Socket. Or maybe the whole Dominator thing just didn't follow from territory to territory, and there was no one of that game, no, no one of that name, in the Western game. There also doesn't seem to have really been a time travel kind of mechanic in this game. At least none that I've been able to activate or run across. So the whole time thing uh, with the Time Dominator first Japanese name and the clock thing we saw in that warping background at the beginning, I don't really know what the relevance of that is just yet, if any. Oh, 
Oh, hey, another continue. The labyrinth area. Oh, God. With my deep and abiding love for mazes, I'm sure this is going to work out just fine. We'll try the high road. Alright, I'm going to operate here under the assumption that if the game is giving me uh, lightning bolts in one... Oh, damn it giving me lightning bolts in some direction, that it's a good idea to go that way. Oh wow, we got some really hard lag there. Don't know why, there wasn't an unusual amount going on. Yep, my impression continues that socket is fine. It's not setting the world on fire, it's certainly no Gunstar Heroes or the like. But there's nothing wrong with it, per se. And I do really like this background in this particular music track. Also, this maze doesn't seem especially maze-like just yet. He says just before he gets lost, I'm sure. Okay, this is a dead end. So what do I do now? Did I go to the right here already? I can't remember if I did. I could very well be retracing my steps here, and I really have no idea. Don't know if enemies respawn, so the fact there was a live enemy there might or might not be a good thing. Wait, shit, am I back to the beginning? That block array looks a little too familiar. Oh, yeah, and there's the power-up thing I grabbed before. And I've already picked up a lot of the lightning bolts from this route, so... Energy could be a problem. Oh, some lightning bolts. I could use those for my energy. And I appreciate them as a guidepost, so that I know I haven't been this way yet. Oh, shit on me! Alright, then, let's try and not go all the way back to the beginning of the stage this time. Okay, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Oh shit, I did it, didn't I? Yep, don't see any way out of this but death. I'll take the death. Don't really need to do a whole state loading thing just yet, I think. Also, ugh, if you die, the uh, stage only starts you off with half your energy, it appears. I did start this with uh, full energy the first time, didn't I? Alright, let's try and keep it low this time and hopefully not get ridiculously lost for a game uh, that is so early in its stages. Oh, okay! These aren't strictly a dead end, but they're one-way doors. Now that doesn't help me any with uh, respect to getting through the one that I failed to get through before, because I was coming from the wrong side of it, but at least I know that's how another mechanic works. And in the ways of Socket, I still have much to learn. Such as what that actually does, whether it's a shield or what have you. It certainly looks like a shield. Please tell me I'm not going the wrong way again. Hey! I should have watched when I got hit there to see if the shield protected me, or the possible shield protected me from losing health. Oop. 
Projectiles are not your friends, son. You don't have to run after them. Well, that makes up for the previous death. Damn it. Ah. Yeah, this is a this seems to be a little more of a take it slow kind of level. Going fast in this here uh, labyrinth it does seem quite a bit like um, like if you run straight ahead at full tilt, you're just going to get hit by a lot of shit. Here's another of those doors, which I'm guessing is going to lead to another boss fight. Let's find out. Yep. Oh, you again. Apparently Socket does in fact have its Robotnik. Is this dude the Time Dominator first? There would be a certain amount of sense to that. Dominator does sound villainish. <laughs> I can up kick into my cockpit there. Two continues. Okay, wow. I thought from the first couple stages they would be difficult to earn, but it seems like, uh, well, Sokka gives them away pretty freely. And now I'm starting to think that we are going to have a high-speed area at the beginning of every area. Every set of levels, that is. Oh, right. Invincibility and high-speed zones. Chocolate and peanut butter. Ooh, I want that power-up, though. Said I want that power up. God damn it! Remember your buttons, Zen. It's not a very complicated game control wise. bit of branching path to this kind of level, too. Ah! Totally missed the power up there. Hopefully it was nothing super valuable. Ah! Okay, now I know what those do. Hmm. Okay. If I press away as I jump, then I just kind of fall dead in my tracks, but if I press jump while I'm actually headed upward, then I do get to push out those a little bit. Off slopes, that is to say. And that was just mean socket. Give me a nice head of steam. And then have me run, plap into a fire-breathing dog. Playing with my emotions again. So, Socket is clearly electric, but he recharges at gas pumps. A lean cavern. Is that a word I'm not familiar with? Anyway, I was observing that Socket fills up at gas tanks, which is a little odd. Maybe they're like those Tesla recharging stations. Oh, that was kind of cool. Just zipping across the gap there with a kick, although that time I was clearly not moving fast enough to do so. That was a minecart. Here's another minecart. Fucking entire duck. Actually, no, I shouldn't, shouldn't say that about this game in particular. I'm not into you that way, Socket. Ah, okay. Got some machiny things there that can make the minecart go along rails. Well, that's semi-clever, I suppose. Ah. 
Ah, once again, I wasn't expecting to get hit there, so I didn't look to see if that item is a shield. When I review the footage, I'll get that figured out. More extra life. Capital. Oh! Okay, it keeps on going whether I'm ready or not. Let's save state. It's been a while and I've got a nice big supply of lives and I've earned several continues and we don't want to lose any of that. That was kind of useless. I have officially no idea where the blue fuck I'm going. Let's uh, try going on the rail here. My energy situation is not gorgeous. And I am officially quite disoriented. Okay. I'm fairly certain that at this point I am in fact going around in circles, and my energy is steadily whittling away as I do. Ah! God, that's irritating. Quiet, you. Alright, starting over here at half energy. My nipples do not explode with the light. This time I'm just gonna try and follow the minecart paths more or less from the beginning. Up seems promising. Let's continue to go up. Because I don't have any better ideas. Okay, we hit that. It puts up a barrier and causes the rail thing to grab onto us, and on we go. Hopefully in a useful direction. Oh, hey, that one got, a, got us a whole lightning bolt. Be still my heart. Okay, it looked like I did not take damage there, so it does appear to be a one-hit shield. Um, should I use the rail thing here? I think I should. We like one-ups, especially in the wake of a very recent death. Damn it, dog. Whoa, all kind of what ups. Matter of fact, I'm going to save state just to make sure I keep some of those lovely lives should something go very awry. Okay, live enemies. That suggests I'm not backtracking. This doesn't seem like the sort of game that respawns enemies when you just move, a uh, move along a bit. Ah, wonderful. Oh god, is there gonna be a labyrinth for every set of stages? Definitely save stating now. Thus far, I'm not really doing a whole lot of anything. Just letting the uh, minecart determine my path. But of course, that's too good to last forever. Actually, let's get a, an invincibility here. And now we ride. Ride like the wind, Socket. Ride the lightning. Yeah, for you, that's more appropriate. Ride the lightning. 
Actually, no, that means getting executed. We don't want him to do that. And I think we've got a boss door, so we may anyway. What? Oh, holy shit! <laughs> yeah, so... I see how it is now. I could not tell that the, uh, that the lava there was, uh, not background. It didn't look to me like part of the foreground that I would actually be standing on. But clearly, it was. An instant death lava at that. That's the best kind. I'll take my invincibility, thank you. And now we ride. Well, I actually was kind of dead on there when I said I was riding the lightning, because my ass certainly did get executed, not Chanel. Oh, we got an auto-scroller. Shit, 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 how do I... Shit, 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 shit. Hmm. A conundrum. Since I haven't quite figured out how this works yet, save state. Because I don't want to keep doing that section of level over and over. That's no fun for me and no fun for you. Oh, I see. It's like a spiral staircase. We just have to keep walking up and up. And preferably not get set on fire. Oh, shit cakes. Nope. I did it again. Alright. This is getting slightly monotonous. Alright, the fire things go off as soon as they show a skull. Like that. And I'm still coming out ahead on electricity thus far. Okay. So that wasn't a boss door. Doors like that are not always boss doors. My education continues. Actually, let's get to a safe spot and then save state again. If in fact there are any safe spots in a level like this. And that was kind of mean socket really no sensible way I could have known that was coming. Checkpoint! Oh wow, I just kill everything on contact when I'm in a minecart. That makes it a more friendly minecart than most. Save state. I think what I'm gonna do is finish up this set of levels if I can. This whole Olean cave thing. And then we will call it for the day. I'm going to continue to operate under the assumption that up is generally the right way to go here. Gotta have something to... Oh, what the hell are you? Thing looked like something out of Pulley Rula. Alright, door again. Do we have a boss door this time? Okay. Oil Ocean Zone. So our bat jackal coyote thing. He's got shots up, he's got shots shots down, and he's got shots left and right. And they set the oil on fire. The upward kick actually wasn't doing me any favors there, just hitting him from the sides. A lot more effective. And I just noticed he has one ruined shoe. Isn't that cute? 
Oh, with our, uh, with our water jets on the sides, I can actually put out those fires. Learning that a little bit late, but shit happens. Okay, so we will see what the next level has to offer. And as soon as I get control, I will save state and we'll call it. Did I get three continues for that, or is it saying I have three total? Because, wow, if I'm getting that many... Oh, that's right, we got a new stage, so there's going to be a high-speed zone at the beginning. But I'm going to stick to the original game plan, save state, and we will pack it in. Thus far, things seem to be going okay. Again, a very derivative game, but it plays okay. Some very nice backgrounds, and I did like that one music track at the castle. Hmm. Unless we get a really dramatic difficulty spike, I think I could probably make it through this uh, one without too much drama. Although, now that I've said that, I will surely realize that I shouldn't have said that. Ah well. Anyway, I'm liking this well enough so far. Hope you're enjoying it too. As always, thanks for watching. This is Un, signing off. Today's original character, Do Not Steal, has been brought to you by Justin Carpenter, Molden, Zangamarth, Anonymous Benefactor, John Madigan, Sanguine Games, Misha Van Doren, Frank Grizzy, Tim J, Lolo De Puzzlo, Joshua C. Ritchie, Jared C. Rice, Sonic Rose, E. X. Potemkin, Alicia Gorenson, Mechazorus, D.G. Jono, Doug Russell, Dodecalope, Patrick Bellinger, Jerogue, Martin Schauenmakers, Mayo the Hedgefox, Hildegard Argelmach, IGV, Jazel, Joseph Hall, Hot Mayo Sandwich, Dan Larson, Electric Keat, K. Ivan Rupert, Tiny Shopkeeper, Charlie Dunst, Kikoskia, Kobo4231, Alex Beyer, Yuka Takeuchi Fan, Chaotic Narrative, McCaffrey Crandall, Mystery Accent, Lakota, Mayon Ling, Renaman, and other electrifying patrons. Thank you all so much. It's very generous of you and very much appreciated. Subscribers, commenters, and everyone out there in Viewerland, I'm glad you're here too. May your upcoming weekend be a lovely one, and I will see you real soon. Till then.